Ethiopia is a beautiful country, but it's one of the poorest in the world. Many students have to walk hours just to get to school. There's another problem. The school dropout rate for girls in Ethiopia is 51 percent. Founders Dr. Lewis and Helen Wall learned that menstruation is often the cause. That's when Dignity Period was created. The mission is simple. Keep girls in school by ensuring they have access to quality menstrual hygiene products and education. Dignity Period partners with McKelle University to conduct research and provide education throughout the region. Shwaye Bilay is the Menstrual Dignity Project's lead researcher and community coordinator. The problem is very huge uh, for females in general and for adolescent girls in particular. Shwaye works to understand cultural beliefs and attitudes about menstruation. A girl was sitting in one school and boys were shouting, surrounding her. When we ask what's going on here, a girl has smeared in her clothes to menstruation, then that's why boys were shouting. Unfortunately, we gathered all the boys and girls there and gave them the lesson. Later on, the boys turned back to regret and to help for her and to take her to the toilet or some other, to give her some other help. He also leads the project team and distributes the pads and educational booklets. And this is uh, a student, he's, this is her father and uh, her mother. She is giving her the menstrual pads. So they are talking and providing her uh, the menstrual pads because uh, menstruation is normal. I have started my first period when I was uh, grade uh, 8. I wasn't very scared to have uh, my first menstruation because uh, I have learned that uh, I have learned about menstruation already. So I would like to say thank you and the books are very good. The book is very important to us uh, and I appreciate it very much. Thank you uh, for, uh, for uh, the books and <laughs> the modest the parts and uh, for everything, uh, even uh, for coming to this uh, school. Lewis and Helen also work with Free Weenie at Miriam Siba, the sanitary products factory. Free Weenie grew up in Ethiopia and she remembers that having a period was very distressful. They were taught they were dirty or bad for having them. Not even your mother would talk about it freely. Sometimes I see girls have accidents and they get shocked and they never come back to school. Every woman who uses this product will feel comfortable and go on with their life. Together, they've reached almost 300,000 girls across the country. Their product is sustainable, affordable, and environmentally friendly. At the factory, they've hired and trained close to 100 women. The factory also comes with a daycare for their kids. There are close to 18 million women and girls in the rural areas with no access to sanitary pads. The vision is to see that all women have access. I would like to thank you all for giving us this opportunity. I'd like to tell you how, how grateful we are for giving us those parts. I, I can't ask uh, my parents uh, to give me money to buy the, the parts, but after this part, I can say my life completely changed. It increased my confidence. So uh, I can't say when I wear, I wear the, this pad, I'm more confident. It's time for girls in Ethiopia to stop worrying about their periods so they can start focusing on their future. When I grow up, I want to be a fertility specialist because I, I, I need, I need to, to solve all problems that are in the fertility, about the fertilities. I started period when I was 11 at grade 5. Just It was something like it was bad, it has bad feeling when you start it. Just, you just, it has bad feeling. And all my strengths laughed at me. And I feel so bad at that time. I think myself as I'm just, that I just some do some crime. So 
thank you for giving us this chance and you gave us a lot of information about this thing and you gave us support, you gave us more so I want to say thank you very much. With your help, we've raised funds to provide thousands of Ethiopian girls with menstrual hygiene supplies needed to help them stay in school. The Dignity Parade has reached more than 460 schools in Tigray and Afar and reached more than 270,000 students, both for female and fe male and female students, and more than hundreds of adolescents, girls, by supply menstrual hygiene parties, underwear, and so on. And I want to thank you. This is all due to your help. Us. Education and access to supplies have a direct impact on girls staying in school. Help us reverse the cycle of women in Ethiopia lacking the education they need to lead better lives. I want to study medicine mm -hmm. in brain surgery. Mm -hmm. So I want to study medicine mm -hmm. and I want to be successful in my dreams. I want to be successful and to help my country. Like Thank you all. Thank you to giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much for giving us this advantage. I want to thank you very, very much. I would like to say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Girls deserve education, equality, and dignity. Period. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for helping us.